Yeah, Cheryl, she says she decided very early on, we're talking the first year she was in office, that she may only be a one-term mayor, but she says she didn't make the final decision until several weeks ago. So I wrote two letters to Atlanta. One was a letter if I made the decision to not run for mayor again, and the other was a letter if I made the decision to stay in the mayor's race. Mayor Bonham says she can't point to one single deciding factor. And I wish that I could tell you there was a moment or that there was a thing. Well, she says she loved being mayor of Atlanta. There were a lot of things she could have never planned for. I'd never anticipated um, a social justice movement. I never anticipated a pandemic. I knew there was a madman in the White House, but I didn't know what it would feel like to lead under those circumstances. She says she turned down an appointment to the White House because she wanted to serve out her four-year term and thought a lot about what not running again would mean. Am I doing harm to my city by not running for mayor again? She says she understands that people will have questions about her nearly unprecedented decision to not run for a second term. Even her own family questioned it. One said, Mommy, I'm so proud of you. That was the best decision. And another one said, what, why would you do that? What are you thinking? Mayor Bottom says she does not have another job lined up yet, but she's going to consider what's best for she and her family. She says no matter what, though, she is intending to serve out the rest of her term. That's until the second Tuesday in January. All right.